Okay, hello sports fans. Mauser Man 52 coming back after a long hiatus reporting on a new acquisition. That acquisition is my new Serbian M91 by Zestasova Arms USA. They're bringing the entire uh, old Yugo line, Serbian line, into the USA these days. And this is their newest import. <clears throat> this is a DMR sniper type rifle that uh, is similar to the PSL, only I believe of a much higher quality. Um, this rifle replaces the Yugoslavian M76 in their inventory. It's a military uh, rifle military quality rifle. Um, this is a quick range report today. I'm not going to delve into the uh, details of the rifle itself. I'll leave that for others on the internet. Check out Mac's video on YouTube. Tim did a good job on describing the rifle and its internal operation. It's basically a big stretched AK. I'm going to talk about the accuracy of the rifle today. <clears throat> Two types of ammo were used. Let's see here. Uh, first of all, a total of 100 rounds were fired. If I can deal with the wind, a total of 100 rounds were fired from this rifle. 40 rounds of Silver Bear, 174 grain, and 40 rounds of PPU, 182 grain. <coughs> this here is the ammo to buy if you want to shoot this rifle. This Privy Partisan 182, it's made specifically for that rifle, okay? Uh, Silver Bear, you'll get about six to, uh, <laughs> six to eight out, yeah, six to eight round groups at 100 yards. I would, it's only good for zeroing the rifle. That's all I used it for, really. Uh, these were the results with the Silver Bear. I don't know if you can see that. The first grouping here, oh, well, it's huge. That was essentially trying to group, well, I'm sorry, zero the rifle in. As you can see, it's about eight inches across. Terrible accuracy. My best grouping was right up here with the Silver Bear. There's four shots here. And we got what? Looks like uh, three, three and a quarter inch group. A little more than three. That was the best I got out of the Silver Bear from this gun. Now we'll head over to the final results. This is the PPU 182 grain. I have several different uh, master, several different groupings. Let's start off with these three on the head, right here. This is small two-round group that comes in at one inch. Now here's a three-round group that came in a little under about two and a half. It's another one. about two. Another one here, three round burst. It's around a little under two. It's about one and a half. There's one over here. It's uh, about little over two. Down here it looks like it's uh, almost three. It's not so good that one. And probably the best grouping is four. There's four rounds. A 
comes in at about one and a half. Ah, oh, well. Here's an interesting grouping here. At the end of the session, <clears throat> oh, hang on. Let's see, you have an idea of what's going on here. At the end of the session, I did a fast fire routine. I did eight rounds over 10 seconds. Um, those eight rounds are the ones in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one flyer down here. Disregard these. That was from another another gun, in, a different gun, not this gun. <clears throat> now, those were not timed shots. That was simply me getting the, the reticule you know, right in the middle of the target as fast as I could and pulling the trigger as fast as I could. Overall was eight rounds in ten seconds. Okay? So there was no finger control, no breathing. Just shooting pretty much as fast as I could, as just as fast as I could as long as I can get the scope in the middle of the target. That's what this represents. And it's about three and a half to four if you don't count the one flyer. Damn it. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's what this rifle will deliver. Uh, you can get similar, you know, if, if all you want is a gun to shoot for accuracy, buy a PTR-1 or an AR-10. Um, because this rifle is going to cost you around $3,000. Now, is it worth it? That's the big question to a lot of people. A lot of people will say no, it's not worth it because they're strictly shooters. But if you're a collector like I am, a shooter collector, to me it's worth it. Because this is the latest uh, sniper type semi-automatic rifle we can buy in North America as of today. And um, it, it, it shoots on par with the M76, the, the rifle that replaces. Of course, the M76 is chambered for the old uh, German 8mm round, which I actually think is a superior round to 54R, but this is what they're using, the Russian round. In any case, uh, stick with the PPU. Don't go with the Silver Bear unless you uh, want to have you know, groups like this. Hang on. Yeah, groups like that. Basically, Silver Bear won't group, okay? They're gonna get... There we go. Six inch groups with Silver Bear. You know, just forget it. Zero your rifle with the Silver Bear. Do your actual accuracy shooting with PPU and you should be okay. Uh, that's it for today. Just wanted to give you again an accuracy report, and um, we'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.